Well, you might have heard uh, the University of Utah football team had a pretty good season this year. We talked about <laughs> it once or twice, I think. Yeah, perfect record of 13-0, a BCS beatdown of Alabama, and a legitimate argument to be national champs. Well, today in celebration, the Utes were given a victory parade through the streets of downtown Salt Lake City. Yeah, Ty Perry live at Washington Square, where the parade ended. And Ty, great show of support for the running Utes today. Yeah, that's for sure, Mark and Shauna. It was a sea of red here along the parade route. State Street was actually shut down from South Temple up there down here to Fourth South. Thousands of people, they took to the streets. They screamed and they cheered for the team who they all think should be national champions, the Utah Utes. They're number one. They are number one. Yeah. The Utes victory parade started on State Street at South Temple. As the players and coaches headed south, they got an idea of just how many fans had come out to show their support. Oh, this is unbelievable. You know, we, we knew we had fans, but we didn't know we had this many. It was great for our community, man. Everybody came out and showed us love. During the parade, Ute players and coaches were high-fiving fans, signing autographs, and, of course, practicing their parade way. Yeah, it's like this. Like a Miss American pageant. Thousands of fans, both old and young, came to the parade to say thank you to the Utes for an amazing season. They represented us so well in every way. We got a lot of fans out here. They show their true love, their true support. You can't spell undefeated without you. And both the players and the fans say this parade was the perfect end to a perfect season of Utah football. From this state, you know, believed in us so all. We gotta get back. Good to ask for, you know, a better way to go out. Very fitting tribute to these guys, yeah, no doubt about that. The Utes are number one, Salt Lake's number one. Go Utes! Go Utes! And just an incredible turnout to the parade today. I don't think anybody expected as many people showing up as did. Uh, after the parade, there were a few speeches here on Washington Square. Uh, Governor Huntsman spoke. A representative from the Mountain West Conference spoke. Several players and coaches spoke. They all talked about the incredible turnout, and they all talked about what an amazing year it was for the University of Utah football team. And Mark and Shauna, everybody here agreed this year was definitely a good year to be a Ute. Back to you guys. <laughs> Great to be part of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot That's of fun. Exciting. Thanks, Ty. Yeah. If your office emptied out even earlier than usual on this Friday, here's the reason why. In case you haven't figured it out already, the Utes capped the best football season in their history by parading down State Street in downtown Salt Lake and sharing in the fun with their fans. The Utes beat Bama to run their record of 13 0 exactly two weeks ago tonight and wouldn't mind a chance to go to 14 0 if they can get their former coach to cooperate. Utes Gators. Neutral site, winner take all. Anyone go to that? <laughs> hey, thank you. Like to see it happen. I'm in. <laughs> Don't know if we'll ever see it happen. I think New Orleans would be a neutral site, and I'm more than willing to go back and, and watch the game. Ur <laughs> Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer was quoted as saying, uh, "We want no part of the Utes." So. Yes. Hmm. Why would he do that, Dan? They don't want to give away trophies they already have on their shelf. Okay. There you go.